touch it, touch it. So this is just a lake that we saw on our way to the um, Colombian or Colombia ice fields and it was just a really pretty color. The camera didn't necessarily pick up all the color which sucked but it was such a beautiful like aqua color. And this is just like the little cabin that was built with the lake and it was just really pretty. And this is like a waterfall that you can only see if you get out of your car and look over this bridge, which we did. And it was really, really pretty. And it's not marked on any maps, but it was really cool to see. And it's like beautiful. Now we see out here is another moraine. This is called the lateral moraine. It runs on both sides of the valley for about three kilometers up. It's very unstable and very dangerous. So this is the vehicle that takes you onto the actual um, glacier and it was really chilly. It was like minus five or plus five or I don't know. It was chilly, but this is like a really, really, really steep like um, mountain kind of thing. And also that's like ice still under this like rock. So the whole thing is ice and like there's just like a little bit of rock covering it and so there's like some of the rock dust kind of on the actual glacier itself. So yeah, this is the Colombian ice fields. So the ice field was very, very pretty. It was definitely chilly, so I wore my rugby hoodie, but yeah, it was just um, also kind of like a cloudy day. There was like a lot of clouds and you could see like the cloudiness over top of the mountains here in a second and that was like really interesting. But yeah, it was just really cool to see these ice fields and it was lots of fun. And um, the, the glacier water tasted really good because I had some and it was really cold and doesn't that look really pretty it's so blue but yeah so Colombian ice fields So this is Lake Louise and we saw it later in the day so it's a little bit cloudy but it was still very very pretty and um, we couldn't go during the day because like we couldn't find any parking but we stopped there for a bite to eat at the little um, hospice I think and I had this like cheesy macaroni kind of thing and we had red velvet cake. So good! So I'm just kayaking with the family on the Banff um, River, and yeah, so, okay. That's just because you're trying to be fancy. Look it. So right now we're kayaking in Banff, um, it's lots of fun and it's really nice and sunny out and there's a train in the background so yeah, basically it's my first time kayaking all by myself. Lots of fun. Bye! Look at it, like, it's like a swamp. A little swamp a swamp. With lots of weeds. <laughs> Mountain welcome, wool on wool. 
Howdy, folks. Thank you, everybody, doing this tonight. Thank you so much to the BAMP Center. Thank you to Shaw. Thank you to David for having us. This place is amazing. They treated us so well. So, so thank you guys so much for coming. And, uh, my amazing you know teacher. He's been like my favorite teacher I've ever had. He's smart. <laughs> Just a stand. 